Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be talking about cane toads. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. Cane toads were suggested by YouTube user Terry Tinpot. Thanks for the suggestion! Rewind to 1935 Australia. The sugarcane crops have been devastated by cane beetles. What better way to solve the problem than to bring in some toads with voracious appetites? Here's the butt. They aren't native to Australia. Eh, it'll be fine, says a vast majority of people drowning out the voices of those shouting, Bad idea! The crowd should have listened. Fast forward to today, and at this point, a small population of 3,000 cane toads has grown to well over 200 million invasive individuals. And you want to know the worst part? They don't even help with the beetle problem. Cane toads are native to southern North America, Central America, and South America, though they are non-natively living in Australia as you've probably put together by now. Because they are amphibians, and since they don't have a way to prevent evaporation through their skin, they require a moist environment in which to live. They don't drink water, but rather absorb it through their skin via osmosis, so even morning dew droplets will do the trick. These hardy creatures have even adapted to be able to venture into brackish water as well, something that most frogs and toads are unable to do. Most amphibians can't swim in salt water because the salt content of the water would be higher than that of their body, meaning the osmosis process would reverse, which basically means that most amphibians, when put in salt water, will become too salty. And no, I don't mean like your salty Aunt Ruth on Facebook who can just get over Uncle Henry. Cane toads spend most of their time on the ground or even burrowed inside it, and are typically more active at night, meaning they are nocturnal. While active, they hunt just about anything that will fit into their mouth. Centipedes, millipedes, crickets, spiders, scorpions, roaches, frogs, lizards, birds, and even pet food can all land on the cane toad's menu. So why didn't they eat the cane beetles then? Well, that's because they're opportunistic eaters, and while they are able to eat all of the things, they're super lazy about getting food. They tend to wait in an area where food sources will be abundant and just let the food come to them. They can be this sly about eating because there's not really anybody around to eat them. To be fair, cane toads found in their native land are preyed upon by animals that have adapted to eating them such as banded cat eye snakes, eels, ants, and some species of catfish and ibis. But in Australia, they kind of have it made as they have very few predators in this part of the world. Here's the catch with these crazy cane toads. They're actually poisonous, which makes them an unpleasant meal for even some of Australia's fiercest predators. What's more, they're harmful to and may even kill domestic pets if they're consumed by our furry family members. The cane toad epidemic in Australia is so bleak their government website has a standard operating procedure for humanely euthanizing cane toads. Plus, Australia has its own native frogs and toads who may get swept up in the collection process, so it's good to know which animals are in fact cane toads. Cane toads are a rather large species of toad, and they typically average about 5 inches in length, though some of the larger ones can reach almost 10 inches. They have dry, warty skin that's dark in color ranging from gray to brown to olive green to red. Their stomachs are more pale, and their entire body is usually covered in dark mottled spots. Probably their most defining feature, however, are their swollen parotid glands that sit on their shoulders behind their eardrums. It's from here the cane toad secretes its poison, which acts as a neurotoxin when consumed. So don't eat a cane toad. In fact, don't even eat their babies. There are reports of people who have died from dining on cane toad tadpoles. Speaking of tadpoles, cane toads can lay anywhere from 8,000 to 35,000 eggs, and the length of the process in which they metamorphose from tadpole to adult will vary based on their location and surrounding temperature. Native cane toads typically take a year to reach maturity, while Australian-bound cane toads may take up to two. They can live for at least five years in the wild, though captive individuals have been recorded to live more than 15. For more facts on cane toads, check out the links in the description. Thanks again to Terry Timpot for the suggestion. We learned a lot. Let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions as well. Thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up for more Animal Fact Files.